After 9 games, 13 years, and 2 console generations, Kingdom Hearts 3 has finally been released, and it is a ton of fun. This is a game that while playing has made me smile, laugh, cringe, and tear up. However, as much as I love it, and I really do, it does need to be said that this game is as much a disappointment as your dating options once you graduate from college. One of the biggest most looked forward to games for a couple generations, and it is both magical and frustrating. I think Nomura did his best given the circumstances. Now some might say it's an unfinished game, and it is. Because people were looking for a well-built, solid game that feels like the series was concluding, like it was coming home. Instead, we have cut content, uneven pacing, questionable combat balance, shallow worlds. I do think Nomura wanted to give more to the game and had much bigger plans, but those plans were cut short due to problems outside his control. Nomura as a creator is still an employee after all. He has a lot of pull, but there's only so much. He is just a builder, an architect, and he had to answer to powers above him, and those powers dragged him down. I truly do believe he could have made the game that lived up to the expectations of the people who bought every console and handheld to play all the side games. But he was torn down and demolished by his two biggest problems. Square Enix and Disney. A publisher's job is to provide support and resources to the development and help them get the game out. This of course means they have input into the game, especially when the development teams are owned by the publishers themselves. Now, I don't want to say Square Enix is mismanaged because I don't know the company inner workings. But hearing about what the troubles Kingdom Hearts had, it does sound like a bit of a clown fiesta. So let's start with the most fundamental building block of any game, the development team. A good development team can make a great game out of any concept. I know his name is all over it, but don't think that Nomura is solo on a computer making Kingdom Hearts 3 alone. He had help. And you would think, as a mainline Kingdom Hearts title, it would have had the same development team as Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. But not if Square Enix had anything to say about it, and they did, which is why the Osaka team was assigned to the game. Now the Osaka team was responsible for Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, and the 1.5 Remix collection, so they were familiar with Kingdom Hearts enough. And to be fair, the Tokyo team, who made the Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, did help a bit. They were focused on Final Fantasy XV, but Square Enix shuffled members from Final Fantasy XV to Kingdom Hearts 3, like a game of Red Rover. Now when it comes to development trouble, the most notable thing that happened was the engine switch. Originally, Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be made in the Luminous engine, which was used for Final Fantasy XV. However, there are problems with the engine, such as rendering issues, so they made the choice to move to the Unreal engine. It's been revealed through interviews that the decision to move to Unreal was dictated by the higher-ups in Square Enix. It would be like if you were running a kitchen and used recipes that required certain cooking tools, and then your restaurant owner decided to change out those specific tools so you lose your techniques. So it is rough. You are working hard, and then you probably have to scrap most of your work because of an engine change. And this also means that you have to sacrifice dev time so that the team can learn the new engine. If the total amount of development time allotted to you was shown in a pie you can eat, the wasted pie is probably a big enough chunk to upset anyone. However, I don't place the blame solely on the clown fiesta Square Enix made. I'm sure there was a bigger influence out there. A more cutthroat, more sinister, evil influence that had its grip on Nomura. Disney is very protective of its intellectual properties. It's thanks to them that a copyright will last so long that Disney's plan to own every media company before Mickey enters public domain will probably happen. So when it comes to Disney properties being used, there are a lot of procedures and rules that Nomura had to follow. He said so as much during various interviews that different properties had different rules. Like I'm betting a certain amount of completeness had to be done. No doubt in the contract, the Frozen World had to have two songs be played throughout the story. The effort that the Snowman Building song was thrown in reminded me of the efforts of that one guy in every group project in school. Just lazily throwing something in to try and get credit. Also, since Disney is involved in the process, it slows things down considerably. Like, yeah, it sounds cool to hear. Whoa, Pixar is helping out in Kingdom Hearts 3 by giving their input to make sure their worlds are authentic. This just means that more double checking had to be implemented. Like, for instance, Disney has rules for how the monster forms of Sora, Donald, and Goofy had to look for Monsters, Inc. So I bet some time was wasted going back and forth between Disney and Nomura, making sure that the rules were followed and the design choices met expectations. 
So with Disney calling a ton of shots about design and the use, and some time being wasted between going back and forth, that means a lot of pie was wasted. I bet Nomura, when it came down on making decisions on what should be focused on and what should be cut, Disney stuff probably had a ton of priority over some of the more original aspects of Kingdom Hearts. Speaking of original aspects, you can kind of tell where the content was cut, or hints of what Nomura really wanted to do. I honestly doubt that Nomura sat down at the beginning of development and planned for most of the story to occur at the beginning and end of the game exclusively. Some examples of these hints are like Riku's entire side plot. It isn't there. It seems very strange that there is only two fights you can use Riku, fighting mostly the same boss, especially with how much emphasis there was on Riku in previous games. His whole playable sub-story was probably scrapped. The biggest indicator, after having a couple playable fights, is that they never explained how he got his Honda car key. Another big thing that was hinted at, but not really done, was the whole Kairi thing. I have the feeling that Nomura really wanted to flesh out Sora and Kairi's relationship a lot more than we saw. There was probably a planned section of the game to visit Axel and Kairi while they trained, where more Sora and Kairi interactions were to happen. As it stands, it's a bit jarring to see Sora, who spends most of the series not even interacting with Kairi, have a somewhat romantic undertone toward the end of the game. Like, they made the characters act as though those scenes happened, even though from what we were actually shown, it wasn't really earned. There is a lot of things that are missing, so I can't go through all of it. From the lack of Final Fantasy characters and secret bosses to a coherent Pirates of the Caribbean story, previous mainline Kingdom Hearts games had a ton of original story playing out between worlds, and that seems to be missing from this game. The end product feels rushed and content seems legit cut from this game, not like an oh boy, we're gonna sneak a fast one and sell the included content as DLC, but more like an ah, we're out of time, trim the game, we gotta get it out, get it out! With DLC and Critical Mode confirmed to be coming, I'm hoping it will add all of those missing subplots, and personally, I would love if there was a DLC to reorder the events of the game so it is paced better. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, there is still a lot of fun to be had here, and some moments in the game that were just pure Kino. There's some obvious love from the developers baked right in, but ironically, the reason why the premise to the series was so good and interesting is now the reason the game is so lackluster. Truly what I imagine Nomura's development work life goes a little like this. Mr. Nomura-san, how goes the development? It is going well. I just need more help. Where is the Tokyo team? Oh no. I have the Tokyo team making the game I kicked you out of. So here's Osaka instead. Ha ha. Wah ha ha. It's me the mouse. I hope you aren't doing injustice to my Elsa, I got a sequel to sell. Make sure to put your anime donut steel second. Hi hi. Also Mr. Nomura-san I know we announced the FF7 remake too early and your name is attached to it, so don't forget to think about that game and how everyone is angry for not having more info on something you can't work on right now. Hi hi. Wah ha better take time out of your pie for me to quadruple check your anime designs to make sure it meets my standards. Ha hi. I think we need to change the game engine. Nothing personal kid. Ha hi. Mr. No more son, Mr. No more son, is there any more of that pie left? Hong Kong. Mr. No more son, Mr. No more son, Mr. No more Is that a lucky emblem? Oh no, what is this? What is going on? Someone save me. Who allowed you to do this? Mr. No more son. Why are you defying me? Oh no, Mr. Disney son. Get back here and save me. Why is this happening? I regret making you. 